Okay, so I'm joined by manager Paul Jones after the uh, an exciting game, shall we say, Paul? Uh, you secured ninth place with a 3-2 win over Lower Breck. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, as you say, it was exciting. I thought we've gone from being in high control, haven't we, to a bit um, chaotic towards the end there. But um, I think everyone got their admission fee um, and ultimately we won. So as it's the last game of the season, I'm not going to focus too much at all on, on the things we could have done better. I th thought it was a really good performance overall. And um, yeah, an exciting game for everybody to watch. Yeah, and it looked like a very disciplined performance for the majority of it. The shape was held well, you know, players keeping their positions, holding their positions and doing the jobs that you'd asked of them. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I thought it was excellent. You know, I think, you know, we gave a, a few players an opportunity in, in different positions today. And, you know, I thought we, we covered the ground pretty well, all things considered. You know, I think uh, our in-possession play was really calm and controlled for most of the game. And yeah, yeah just just excellent really wasn't it and I think hopefully the, the people that might have been down tonight that have not seen us play for a little while will we'll see a, a big improvement in terms of, of how we play and, um, and, and how we can uh, more than compete at this level of football Yeah so Paul obviously last game of the season um, you just want to be interested have you got any highlights from the season that you really want to you know that you look back on and think that was a really really big part I, think, I don't know, as a season as a whole, like, I think the, the way the supporter group has, has really grown and, and come together in the home games and away games, we've got this fantastic atmosphere and that's, that's a huge highlight for me, you know, that when, we, when we set the club up, it was for it to be a community club that, that everyone felt like they were part of and, and I really feel like that's kind of grown over this season. Um, win, lose or draw, like they're really behind us and, and that's incredible and I hope that can grow and continue more um, next season um, obviously like the a club three years old playing at Gig Lane you know uh, and regardless of the result given the fans and the players and everybody involved with the club that kind of opportunity and, and then obviously Berry being here this this season as well again with 800 fans and um, you know having that atmosphere in the Isle of Man is, is something that we may have again next season but we'll have to wait and see in the next week or so so it's, so I think the progression of the players and the progression of the club on and off the pitch has been really pleasing and, and um, that, that has to be the big highlight. Um, but we also can't take that for granted, you know, a lot of work still needs to be done over the next couple of years to make sure the club's sustainable and that, that we can compete uh, for years ahead. And, you know, that's, that's kind of everyone's responsibility. So I'm sure the, the board are looking for people to come forward to to um, sponsor and there'll be some opportunities to do that and it's important that we make sure that happens in order to uh, to be able to compete at a high level next season. And Paul, finally, just before we get interrupted by a child running through, um, just for, finally, Paul, the off-season, are you going to enjoy your break? Are you going to enjoy a bit of time away from football? Or That's the plan. Um, the coaches don't want me to have a break. They, they want to keep going because they're in a nice little routine with, with when they're doing stuff and like I'll be honest, I'm ready for a couple of weeks off. Um, and, the, and the players need it as well. Some of them have played 30, 40 games of football. So everyone could do with a little bit of a break. Um, having been on the other side of it, the, the people off the pitch probably don't get much of a break. It's an important time of the year to make sure we get everything sorted ahead of pre-season. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, hopefully I can switch off a little bit and uh, tonight win in and finish in ninth. Hopefully um, that'll be a bit easier to do than it would have been otherwise. Yeah, and you just mentioned your coaching staff there as well. Obviously they're a pivotal part of this whole setup. Just Have you got a message for them towards the end of the season? And yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I, I wrote some words in the programme and, and thanked a, a few groups of people and, um, you know, the, the coaching staff, have, they, they make my life a lot easier than it would be otherwise and I, I don't know how I could do it without, um, without their support, um, both that kind of moral support but also the support to put on some really good sessions that, that help the players develop. So they've been incredible, you know, I'll, I'll name them, Gaz Lloyd, Al Harrison, um, Jim Watney, Dave Cherry, um, they've been brilliant and um, you know, ho hopefully they're learning as we all are and we'll go from strength to strength as, as a team um, and that will only help the players get better as well. All right, Paul, thanks for your time this evening. Well done on the ninth place finish and enjoy your break, mate. Cheers, Dean. Cheers.